Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. We're playing as a German Reich. Just pan out just a bit. It's the 20th of March 1942 and well our invasion got underway in the last episode of the Baltics and we will be carrying on with that little attack. Um, quite a few things going on in the world. Um, we've still got kind of enemy ships in the area that we're trying to protect so uh, we probably need to do. Ooh, uh, not sure why that is going on. To be honest, let's separate them out. They're doing what? Not too sure what kind of combat they're in. So that they probably would be better on convoy escort at the moment, just to actually make sure that our convoy does get through. What's going on here? Uh, it's, it looks as if it's the same kind of ship. So we've got a couple of destroyers that we can actually pull out. So let's do that. They are on one area at the moment. Let's get them on both. Okay, what else did we have? Quite a few submarines. Okay, let's start topping up where we can take them a while to actually get out there uh, it's him I don't think that one actually did that because there's four on there there we go Okay, I still needed one at the end of the day, but well, we've got them coming out as you can see. Um, they're full up. Yeah, we've got repairs going on, so we still need more naval yards. We have got them coming though, so see what we can do there. What have we got here? All oh, right, it's the Führer Directive. It's just. Um, what they're finishing off can't do anything with that mm, don't need oh well that's the thing it's going to be 120 days and three civilian factories so we've got all that still to come i would probably just keep on with the um building of the naval yards at the moment uh so what we've got going on out here we've got 47 ships that now reappeared here and there so no idea where they're coming from they're convoy raiding get them to do that job as well so that all of the areas are actually covered Just fighters up there. No, let's keep them on there and let's get them back out there. So we'll try and catch them everywhere. 77 still out there though, so I still can't do anything with that. Parachutists are on the way. Well, I say on the way, but they're not. Um, so we've still got 47 ships out there. So that's part of maybe the part of the same group that's actually doing all of those. Yeah, because 47 is an odd number, really. Um, okay, they have got ships out here. We are catching things out here, though. American convoys. Uh, that's a point. Let's have a look. Uh, see how respective allies are doing no convoys no supply fulfillment so they are down to 10 factories no naval support whatsoever and only one military factory wow okay uh it's mexico in it okay that's didn't recognize the flag i'm not normally at war uh, with Mexico so 
Uh, right, the United States, let's have a look. They're doing Bureau of Ships, so don't know what kind of advantages that gets, but hold on. Yeah, here we go. The naval campaign that we started right from episode one is slowly leaked through and they have now got 68 convoys to their name. They are not supplying their troops out in the field and they are getting resources from Brazil. But at the moment they are producing none themselves. So if we can reduce that even further, their aircraft production and well, hold on, trucks. They haven't got that many. They haven't got that many. But they've got quite a few factories here. So they can produce stuff, but at limited numbers. So we really need them out on front lines. And, well, let's face it, they are out here. So anything that they send across now is now not getting supplied. That's all bonuses for us, and to be honest, it's a bonus for Italy because they haven't got enough forces out there, it looks like. So we'll... I'm not going to send my forces down there because that is a choke point. Um, it would have been nice to actually close the Mediterranean off to them completely, but we'll see whether we can actually do that in a longer term. Uh, right, we did have submarines, didn't we? Uh, yes, it's just, yeah, they're going to be filling out those particular roles. Okay, so the air wall. Let's have a quick look. Red. Again, it's red in here. Is that because we haven't got air supremacy going on? Maybe. We've got bombers attacking Ukraine. And at the moment, they've got free reign there. That's fair enough. We've got Stukas operating there, but that's the... Well, we've got aircraft, but there's nobody's playing there. No, they're all here, still. Okay. So, look at the numbers. Active fighters. Bear in mind, that's us as well as everybody else that's actually brought aircraft in. Yes, they've got more support planes, but... I'd love to know what they are. That could be... So this is the fighters. This is your support equipment. And this is support support fighters. Okay, so Polycarpov, 16s and 15s out there. So they're dual purpose. Okay. Okay. We are building in this area. We've got infrastructure going on. We've got anti-air going on. We've got radar already in the area. So that should help. It's not covering the whole area, of course, but we'll see what we can actually do in this episode on that. Uh, meanwhile, our forces are going to make a push for Leningrad. These guys on this side are going to hopefully bring some troops off this side so we can do something with these. At the moment, that is not happening. What's he got? He's just got that guerrilla fighter. Can I swap that out for an infantry expert? No. It doesn't work like that, does it? Uh, so, let's carry on. Anyway, hope you're good. Hope you're well in the world. I mean, you're not in the Ukraine at the moment because they're facing a very, very precarious situation of their own with the Russian there. And theirs is a bit more serious than ours. How dare you try to attack my troops as they try to get up and take that airfield. Uh, what's this? Okay, where are you? You're there. Okay. not a lot of supply in this area so reluctant about doing that
So it's going to be another 150 into the area. Of course, the timing of the day will make a difference as well. Dutch East Indies. Okay, let's have a quick look. Coming on out there, because... The, whoa, 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 whoa. Japan has made strides. And, yeah, of course, this was the Indochina issue that we mentioned. Still nothing major here. I mean, when I play Japan, I usually take all of the coast and then just move in, because you get rich pickings from the Guanxi click there. Uh, but, yeah, as you can see, they're making out their way into the Pacific. Looks if they're doing a bit of island hopping as well. So maybe they can encroach on the US territory. Don't know. Let's have a look. What do we got? Western approaches. Polish and Australian convoys, it looks like there. A few less ships. Have the Swedes got any convoys? They've got 12 to 14. Okay. And there's potentially five divisions on there. No ships. Don't know about their aircraft. Okay. Do we just bypass them and just leave them to it? Probably. Uh, I think we're fine on all that though. Um, manpower is slowly creeping back up. Um, right, is five enough for us to do a naval invasion? Maybe. Um, why are you lot not reinforcing? Might as well try and get some reinforcement going on with them. Um, that's a bit strange that it wasn't on. Uh, no accessible regions? Where are you? Show me where you are. Love to know where that is. So we've got. Hmm, hold on. We've got access. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if. Uh, let's take them off there. No, take them off there. they were out there weren't they no it's not them hold on commander I don't think we can do ground pounding with submarines. I think that goes against the rules. Uh, yeah. Honestly could do with a bit of He's at level 6, got 4 attacks, 7 defense. Whereas Donitz has got 5 and 3. Okay. I was going to move him out because Donitz were, did have the better stats to start off with, but now he looks as if he's been surpassed. So, uh, yeah, so these guys out here, where are you? 
I wonder if we could do something Where would be best? Are they going to expect us over here? Because we could go straight for the fuel if that's though. Or we just come into this area. Let's go there. Let's just upset the balance. There are forces there. Okay. for upsetting the balance. You ask my boss. We're being like this because we've invaded the United Kingdom and they are all for naval invasions. How come I'm, I'm left with one? Oh, it's because I haven't used the Mountaineers. Okay. We'll go for it. How long does he need? Seven days. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Still having PTSD about that naval invasion into Oslo. Uh, right, okay. I still want to do this, but I think this could be a situation that we actually land with parachutists in there instead. So, can't do it yet. If I stopped waffling, I quite agree. Yeah, if I stop waffling, I may be able to do stuff. Okay. Why did you leave that area? I know we're pushing up in the north, but honestly... No, if you do that, sir, because there's a tank moving up there, so... I would appreciate it if you did that, and I would appreciate it if you guys did this, and then you moved into there. And he's moving up, good. Is he on that side? I've... Um, I'm thinking that I can actually assign him like that, but because he's got an exclamation mark on there. Probably doesn't work like that. No, they've poured troops in there, but we've got the initiative maybe. Oh, well, it's nice to have the cipher done for the United Kingdom because that's really, really helpful, isn't it? We need that one, thank you very much. Can can somebody tell the people in Bletchley Park, GCHQ, to actually work on the Soviets now? I'm sure you've got code books there. Uh, right, not sure what's gone on here, but somebody has dropped the ball. So, hold on, you can actually have the overlap going that way because you've got more troops. Let them think that they're actually winning. And they just draw them in, bring those anti-tank guns up, and just pulverise them. Yeah, it hasn't gone down that much, although we've increased our fighter support there. Okay. Right, enough about those. <laughs> I don't want to get banned on the internet. 
I'm sure there's a uh, an achievement that you can do uh, for that. Maybe I don't know. Tempted to go for one of those. If you're going to go for that, it's probably that one. The fall there, that's the problem. Okay, they are attacking me, so I will allow that to carry on. Counter attack. Not there. There. Counter attack. Is his tank moving out naturally? No, it's going to support there, isn't it? So, punch through. You get up there, they need the support up north. Ah, oh, we're so close there. So close. did wonder whether that would actually provoke a bit more action behind them, but no, it didn't. Okay. Right, railway gone. Um, that guy did have some, didn't he? Let's go for a move in the south. If we tell that guy to stop, I just want to control one area. Anybody do a naval invasion across the Black Sea before? Pfft, not me. Well, I can't remember doing this, but I, I may have done. Right, know that you've got back up here, so I get them doing that. I would like the Mountaineers to get into here. Fall of Hong Kong, okay. Can't move them any further. Yep, you're going on there. That's fine. You can go over there. And that's a lot of troops there. Ah, oh, 
yeah, I really want to commit those down there. Get to the coast, please. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to move any of those. How long? Your job will be to do that. With all of those. Right, what have we got training up? We've got a couple of divisions there. Okay, um, somebody with what do I use him for? I don't know, this is an out of supply kind of area down here. Right, I want to keep the Mountaineer guy on those, so... Right, they're still moving, okay. Um... Oh, damn it, Mountaineers. You really need to go to him. Mountaineers are going to go down south. You will be on there. In fact, yep, you will be on there. It's three divisions on there. Right, you guys start moving. We can grab hold of that and the port. You're still attacking there, so I will allow that. You're going down there, that's fair enough. Italy demands Vichy territory. Have they done? They haven't really failed me and they are keeping the Americans and British. I'm going to say yes to that. Because they are helping. Um, right, your troops are just sat around there, sir. Let's have them out here. Right, you may have to hold your horses. Hold on, what have you got? Yeah, you see, he would be really good for that. And I could use him in Ireland then. Uh, right, don't need those on there. They're going to be there. They are going to be area defence. This all may be redundant though, because we've cut convoys off 
or the allies, so might not need these. Just a general will do. Yeah, let's change these guys out with him and we'll give them uh, give them that color have we got anybody on a similar basis to ice oh, instead of just changing them out like that let's do that um Gonna take him a while to actually get there. They think they're going to attack back. Hmm. I don't care, to be honest. We we don't cave to anybody. We're taking on the Soviet Union. Have you not noticed? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want that. Uh, that's, yeah, I do apologise, lads. That's my fault. You do really need to get there and just hold that ground. Oh, that would have been so good if that had actually worked. They're getting there, okay. Yeah, you need to hold that. Can't move either of those at the moment because they are in combat. Right, you lot really need to be there. Oh, and that tank division can just roll its way through. I thought we'd actually got that as one best laid plans may be going slightly amiss here right don't they're all back there aren't they get over here if one of the missions is going to fail Let's not have both of them fail, please. We're going to lose those troops. Uh, okay. Right, 42. So... Doing okay on that, aren't we? We're okay on there. In our ever changing environment what is going on air war is ours except there but we are reducing them very very slowly never else is a concern not really push And you push for Leningrad. Because while I'm losing in one area, I will see if I can disjoint them elsewhere. Oh, we've lost the port. So these guys are relying on this now. Yeah, you need to hold that. Okay. 
Okay, he's moving up there, so follow the train lines. Ah, we have military access through Turkey. Oh, they can't get in there? I thought we could pass, because we are... A f We're a friend, so... We can't pass? Hmm. Fall of Leningrad, that worked. You hold him, you get up there. Don't want to see any more aircraft up in this area. Lend lease. No. I don't know what that is, but no. Okay, dockyard. We're not repairing anything, so we can go a full spread on what? Move them all out. Okay, we haven't got enough chromium to actually do that. Well, let's have a look then. What are you lot doing? You're doing patrol, okay. So, don't do that. Do that now. You're doing naval invasion support still in that area, aren't you? So, they are... No, they're not. They're doing convoy escorting in two areas, okay. 16 ships. Whoever's there, kill them. You've got enough numbers now. Right, I will do that though. They can be convoy escort. Right, where do I want these? Out here in the med, maybe? Control this. Or have that separate group start doing this. Mm. Let's get them out, they can join there. They're still training up. Okay, five days we can do something about that. Did I not do anything about that? No, I was going to decide on what I was going to do, so. Um, light cruisers or destroyers? It's not the best of ships, but it's the fastest, probably heavy one. Oh, hold on, not you, not you. Just ask for more. Where's this training there? We won't fill that up, not by a long way, but we'll see what we can do in the meantime. Now go through. Hold on. Stop. 
sneak through. do that you may be able to get there and hold the line they have to do this again right, they are landing but they're not going to have enough support there that table base I don't think will support all of them yeah these are, guys are cut off now Can we push back? Well done. Get him. Just halt. Yeah, that doesn't help. Uh, no, I don't think I can actually do much more on those. I can on that. doing slowly going down but it is very slow at the moment oh, it's in a race now to try and get across your time if you can get across there and get across there all oh, right okay one of you guys is gonna have to support that where are they are they pulling troops back no not yet okay And that doesn't help. Right, anti tank. Got anti tank out there, so. You won't have that equipment at the moment, but. You're going to be that. And then we will give you some more. Oh, 
Come on, allow my troops to move. I think I'm going to need anti-tank equipment on all of the units, to be fair. into that troop there. There's no troops back there. Okay, we what? Mm. Yes, okay. Uh, why are these not attacking? Normally the AI will attack its opponents. We, we've reduced the numbers a bit across the whole of the front line, but... Right, your goal is now to do that. Blue group. Your limited campaign is to do that. Red group, where are you? You're there. So if I have you between the two rivers, make that attack. Right, your job is to bridge there and try and try to get to Kiev. And you are gonna come down and try that right blue group you're still there okay your job once you're able to recover will be to do that thinking hmm instead of having these guys do a nothing campaign up there get them try to invade the Crimea again or Sevastopol anyway put some pressure on there actually getting on that side probably would be better than just going backwards Yeah. They have got troops there, so we'll half we'll half the invasion force. It's gonna take him slightly longer because he's got an odd number. Oh, why are you lot not training up? Okay. Don't want to lose these guys. I want to get. I want these guys to have some support. So they're okay at the moment. Supply-wise, they're both okay at the moment. If we didn't have a river there, I would be placing my tanks down there.
what is the supply situation up here? It is not brilliant, okay. please right in the meantime did I see Falsring Jaeger I did I did okay what are they like they're terrible see them for looking. Where's the transport aircraft? Hmm. It's there, okay. Um, right. No, don't supply. <laughs> supply the Irish with the uh, MP40s. That would be embarrassing. Um, right, you guys. That we're on this order. Yeah, because that situation is not going to improve. not a valid province for the drop. What? That makes no sense. It's enemy territory. Why can't I do a parachute drop there? Oh, right, okay. It's because I'm going from the wrong airfield. Do apologise. There's always a reason. There we go. Oh, that's a bit strange. Why can't I add them to that? Do you know, if it's not one thing, it's three others. Okay. Right, all of you... Don't be doing that. Do that. Get to where you need to be. I think that was the reason. It's been a while since I've done any parachute drops. Uh, right, Soviet Union's decryption was broken. 
All right, they're deciding to attack. Fair enough. Wow, that's... <laughs> yeah, they saw me coming on that one, I think. Okay. No, can you push him back out of there and then you can use the river as defence, please? I don't know whether they've noticed that that is an option. Right, blue group are saying go. But we don't have naval supremacy there anymore. I wonder if that's just a passing thing. Uh, ships passing thing. Yeah, get it? No? Okay. Fine. Uh, let's increase those. Increase those. Right. Start making up those numbers, please. People should be okay. Now, so long as the, the... Oh, they haven't got aircraft. But I don't know whether they're... Okay, let's just give them some aircraft. Still do that on that side. What else have we got? Right, they're going to be moved over. You're going to be moved over. Half you lot. Oh, has he already got fighters? Oh, okay. Fine. We'll equal them out then. All they need really is that now. And yep, I'm nicking them. Okay, how are we doing on time? We're getting close to the end of the episode. So, some gains some wow some stationary efforts here too sure we, why we haven't actually done that but right these guys individually say go on their particular mission so i'm wondering whether that is something that we can do in the next episode we will find out. Um, that is something that we're going to have to do. And how are we doing on time? I may have to do that tomorrow in tomorrow's episode. We'll see whether we can get another naval invasion going that way. Uh, we'll see whether we can get a... We'll see whether we can get our parachutists in here. We will allow them to get their organisation back before we drop them. There is divisions there, so they, they would get wiped out.
we still can't do a naval invasion, so they have got... I wonder if my forces can get air supplied from there, drop on the airfield instead. Three parachutists. Shall we find out? <laughs> there was people there. No divisions on there? Or won't it allow me to do that? Right, those supply aircraft. Get out there. Help my uh, guys on the ground. Come on, get supplied. I bet you I can't do that now because these are getting air supply. Well, let's half them. Oops, it happened without my knowledge there. Oh, we can't get round to attack. And there was literally just one division there. Uh, right, let's get them on there now. Here we go, there's the air supply. We may have an Arnhem situation here. Oh well, there we go. That's another game mechanic that I've ruined for everyone. Well, it came at the end of the episode, so there we go. I think that may be doable, but... Yeah, um... Having air, air, trying to get your air supply into places, not sure whether that's the best move to actually do that. Uh, did, oh, hold on. He did have air support as well, so I did wonder whether kind of changing generals around would actually help doing that, but we, um, that was still something we can do we can do that in the next episode but do it properly next time so uh yeah we are going to sacrifice the parachutists a bit like creed and then we'll see what we can actually do here in reducing all the fuel supplies for russia um can we do that yet yeah, no they've got half the forces there so mm. All things to consider in the next episode. Anyway, like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to. And I will see you next time. See you later. Bye.